Earlier, we spoke to Gopal Narayan, an, an astronomer research professor at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. And can you simplify why this development is a breakthrough? We've known for nearly a hundred years that uh, one of the aspects of uh, Einstein's theory of general relativity is that you will need to have black holes. That's one of the clear offshoots from that theory that uh, at the extreme levels of gravity that you can get, uh, you may get a very dense object that uh, collapses into itself to the point where even light cannot escape. So we've known about that theoretically the idea of black holes have been around for a long time. And there's been a lot of indirect evidence about black holes using multiple observations and multiple lines of evidence. There's been theoretical uh, other types of evidence, but indirect evidence that there are black holes. This is the very first time uh, scientists have established an actual image of a black hole. This is the very first time a bona fide black hole has been imaged such a big deal. And uh, so to, to clarify, a black hole by its very nature cannot emit light, even light cannot escape. So we haven't actually imaged a black hole per se. We have imaged a region right around the black hole called the event horizon. And uh, that, that is the region we have imaged. And that's why it's a big deal. We also asked him how this helps astrophysics. A lot of reasons why this pursuit has been important. Uh, this particular black hole that we've imaged is in the center of a galaxy called M87 or Messier 87, which is about 55 million light years away from us. It is a giant elliptical galaxy with a black hole that was thought to be six billion solar masses in the center. That's uh, our sun multiplied by six billion times. That's how much mass is concentrated in a region about our solar system in size. Now, it's, it was known that there was, a, there was a chance that there was such a black hole there, but we have established now without a doubt that there is such a black hole there. Now, it's, it's not just that the detection of a black hole that's important. We're, we are now imaging a portion of the black hole which is at the very heart of it. Previous observations using other astronomical telescopes have looked at jets coming from the black holes, which are all at a very much further out distance from the heart of the black hole. This is the first time we've imaged so close to the center of the black hole. And uh, black holes are, are, are a great lab, great laboratory to test a lot of theories about the intersection, for example, of the macroscopic concepts such as uh, Einstein's general relativity with the microscopic concepts. He also shared with us how scientists chanced upon capturing this particular black hole. Using theoretical ideas that we know that there is a, such a thing such as an event horizon. An idea there is that, that the gravitation potential of the black hole tends to bend light and you would expect to see a shape of the shadow of a certain kind, which is that you'd have a ring-like object with a very asymmetric uh, shadow and uh, a central dark region, a donut hole kind of appearance. This has been known for now 30 years. But uh, to image such a uh, region required technology and a collaboration that was basically unprecedented until now. So we needed a telescope the size of the Earth. So obviously that, that is impossible to do with the current technology that we have. So we did the next best thing. So we combined various telescopes that are all around the world and synthesized a set telescope the world. And uh, to do that, astronomers had to combine and set up a collaboration with uh, multiple countries involved uh, and something like 200 and 250 astronomers and scientists and engineers combined to c carry out this experiment. This is an experiment that has been going on for 10 years. And finally, we see the fruit of this uh, this year when we published these six papers showing the results of that work. The professor also shed some light on his team's engagement towards this project. Lead this team uh, that uh, fields a receiver on the telescope that I just talked about, the large millimeter telescope. The LMT, as it is called, is a 50 meter diameter telescope in the country of Mexico. 
Uh, I'm a professor in the University of Massachusetts, and I lead this effort to, to build receivers to put on the telescope for the EHD experiment. And my colleagues and I have been five, six years or so. And uh, the LMT is a crucial telescope in the EHD array. It's very central in the, in the uh, all the baselines that you derive from it, and it's also a very large telescope. Because of that, the sensitivity boost you get from the LMT is very important. And so our role, my team's role, has been to uh, field receivers to be put on the telescope and uh, combine and collaborate with the, all the other telescopes around the world, and that's the role that we have played. It's a giant leap for astrophysics. An actual photograph of a black hole some 54 million light years away from the Earth. Now, NASA has called it a game-changing breakthrough. But like most events with huge implications in the age of social media, the black hole photo prompted a stream of memes online. Here are some of the gems. It was a proud day for scientists who ever photograph of a black hole. In April of 2017, all the dishes in the Event Horizon Telescope swiveled, turned, and stared at a galaxy 55 million light years away. It's called Messier 87 or M87. And there's a supermassive black hole at its core. And we are delighted to be able to report to you today that we have seen what we thought was unseeable. We have seen and taken a picture of a black hole. Here it is. The feat is being considered a milestone in the discovery and understanding of our great big universe. In Twitterverse though, the image spawned a thousand memes. Speculating on whether Donald Trump and the Saudi king had known all along all of serial to reveal the great black hole. References to the Eye of Sauron seemed par for the course, which explains why so many Lord of the Rings references popped up with the release of the image. Donuts and varas made their own appearances, but naturally, but the really creative lot pulled in cats and dogs too. Clearly, no matter the occasion's theme, you can always count on a good meme. Bureau Report, we on, World is One. And that's all we have time for in this episode of Your Story. Thanks for watching. Do stay tuned to We on, World is One. More news and updates.